Hi, this is Doug Wrench, and I'm going to show you how to make lightning holes that are flared in a piece of thin sheet metal. Now, this is a common practice in the aerospace uh, industry with aircraft and in the race car industry where you want to make a light sheet metal part, and you want to make it even lighter so you, you punch a bunch of holes in it, but you've lost some strength when you punch the hole. So by flaring the holes like these... Um, add some of that rigidity and strength back to the part and it's, and it's lighter weight. Now the way we do that is, first thing we're going to do is need to mark the location of our hole, center punch, and drill some pilot holes for the knockout punch. Now the punch we're going to use is a Greeley two and a quarter inch knockout punch. Um, it's got a top section and then the bottom section which screws on is going to be our cutter section. And these punches, very heavy duty, will go up through up to an inch and an, uh, or go through an eighth of an inch aluminum, which is pretty thick material. And if you don't abuse these things, they're going to last uh, indefinitely. Uh, they're very well made, uh, a little expensive, probably cost you $120, $130 for one this large. But once we, we drill our pilot hole, and, and again, drilling in thin sheet aluminum, a three quarter inch hole, may be a little difficult. So you may find that you want to actually use a three quarter inch knockout punch to, to actually punch out the pilot holes and then put this in and, and make the big one. So so again, once the hole is in there, and again, these are already punched, but you can see the bot, one goes on the bottom, one goes on the top, and then you screw that together, and then I like to use an impact gun because I very you know have a lot of control and I can just tighten that down and very gradually that'll punch the hole through the material. Now, if you look at the pieces that come out, they're, they're very badly deformed, but the actual working piece that you put the hole in comes out very nice and flat, and they're very, very good, you know, nice nice holes. Um, once you have the holes, you want to go in with a half-round file and just deburr them a little bit. And uh, the reason for that is when we put our flaring tool in, you tend to get stuck in there if you leave the, the, the burrs on there. And, you know, if you say, well, I'm going to take the burrs out later, do it, do it right now. That way your, your flaring tool won't get stuck in the hole. Um, flaring tools, unfortunately, are not commercially available, so you're going to have to make them. Uh, in this case, this is made out of aluminum, so it's got a bottom and a top piece turned on the lathe. That's the lower section. And then this piece here, the top piece, you can see your radius flare on it. So one would go on the, the bottom. So you have the, the bottom section like that. The top comes down, just, just like the knockout punch. And we tighten that up. And again, I'm using an impact run. Again, don't don't ram this down really fast. Set it on a slow speed and very gradually run it down. And you'll notice that the part will start to deform a little bit as you're tightening it down. But as it bottoms, it'll come up and be perfectly flat again. So just be a little bit patient. And when you when you get these get it done again, you may find that this top section may be a little difficult to get out so you just want to turn it over maybe get some blocks of wood and just carefully tap it but that's uh there you go that's that's putting a nice beautiful flared hole in a piece of thin aluminum um that's how it's done